What is going on, my hustlers? Long time no see. If you can't tell, my voice is a little messed up. I've had a little bout with the coronavirus. If you are interested in me making a video about how the last few days has been, uh, let me know in the comments and I will do a little update and my kind of thoughts on uh, on just how it felt having it and um, some things I think that we could all do moving forward um, and just kind of my two cents after somebody who has actually had it. But with that said, this video is not about the coronavirus. It's not even about the craziness going on in Washington, D.C. today. If you are have not heard anything about it, uh, Congress got together to certify the election and uh, the vice president was reading out. We got through two states. We got through Alabama and Alaska, and then Arizona came into play, and it just, you know, the Congress broke, broke up. There was a big uh, meeting already in Washington, D.C. I think it was called, the you know, Save America, and President Trump was there speaking, Then those people stormed the Capitol, and so I think uh, from what I just saw right before I started, I hit play on this video, is uh, Congress is... Uh, getting down in a basement at the Capitol because some of those people that they were there for the President Trump uh, rally, basically, uh, are now storming the Capitol. And so I think everybody's just really, really on uh, edge today. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, obviously, the stock market is, was actually up today. Normally, whenever there's big change, uh, it goes down. And so last night, it looked like uh, Georgia was going to pick two Democratic senators. But put all that aside, the market was up today. Which leads you to uh, the video I actually want to talk about right now is a company I mentioned probably about a month ago, one of my first videos, POW, P-O-W-W. Uh, the, the, the company is called Ammo. They obviously make ammo for firearms. Have a big announcement today. They're based in Arizona, oddly enough, which is what we're talking about today. But they have bought a $12 uh, million, 160,000 square feet facility in Manitowoc City, uh, I think it's Wisconsin, and they're planning to employ 200 people here, and this is not going to be done until 2022. And so the reason I'm talking about this company now is because they are a very, very cheap stock. When this got announced, we saw a bump this morning. I think it may have run up to like 4.30, 4.40. Now it's back under $4. Uh, when I first talked about the stock, it was like $3.00. And now we've already seen it gone up to four dollars. Obviously, there is small stocks. So you're going to see a lot of volatility. But when you see this kind of forward future thinking, and no big dogs really talking about, it, so you know that it's not getting pumped and dumped uh, because you know the, the, there's a, a over infatuation, just a you know a surge of money that that goes and pumps up the stock price. These are people that are investing in it <clears throat> because this is what the stock is actually worth. And so I think there will come attention to this uh, sometime, hopefully not for a while, because I still want to buy some more of it. Uh, I've done some swing trading on it because I thought today it was going to surge. It did. I think it went up again to 440. <laughs> I sold half and then I reestablished my position when it came back down to 380 because um, I, again, I am swing. I do swing trade some, uh, but this is a company that I really, really like for the long term and them doing this knowing that they are planning out at least two and a half years or a year and a half in advance uh, is a huge step in the right direction. And again, I don't think firearms are going anywhere, especially ammunition, especially now that we're looking at uh, a Joe Biden presidency and a Democratic Senate and House of Representatives. And so I think this will be a good investment for at least the next two years, because uh, whenever the Democrats are in power, there's always uh, threatening talks about uh, gun legislation and ammo and magazine bans, which just sends uh, those gun owners to buy more and more. And so I think this is just a surefire stock uh, that we're going to see double over the next three, four years. And so uh, if you're new to the stock market or if you don't have a lot of money and you're like, well, I want to buy, you know, Tesla, but who's got $750 sitting around? Well, here's a good opportunity. Again, do your own due diligence on it. But I, I absolutely love the stock. I think it's going to go up huge. Um, and again, just how forward thinking they are as a company right now, uh, investing for the future, I think shows that they're planning on being around for a long time and they have some big, big contracts secured. So check that out. P-O-W-W. Um, Ammo is the name of the company. I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I'm already losing my voice some and hopefully I'll, I'll be around more often. And uh, hit me up in the comments if there's any, any stocks that you want me to check out. 
All right. Y'all have a good day.